Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, whatever brought you here, thank them for me and thank you for joining me. My name is Yoni Thorpe and I am a beauty and lifestyle blogger based in Lagos, Nigeria. And if you're one of my old subscribers, how far now? How are you guys doing? Anyway, in this video, I wanted to share, actually this video was recommended by a lovely subscriber. Her name is Ronke and she actually reminded me of something I did on my blog several years ago. So if any of you used to read my blog like way back, I actually did a color shade series. So I did like five shades of red lipsticks, five shades of pink, five shades of purples that sort of thing and it was like a weekly series and Ronke actually left a comment on one of my videos to say hey do you mind doing like a video version of your five um, you know five recommendations for lipstick and I thought it was a brilliant idea so thank you Ronke but anyway let's go straight into my top five red lipstick recommendations see ya so the first of my red lipstick recommendations is this one called Creeper and it's from Colourpop Cosmetics. Colourpop are known to make really great lip products that are super affordable but the formula is great. I've um, used a couple of Colourpop lipsticks before so I was very very you know I was very eager to get a red lipstick from them and this Creeper one definitely lived up to my expectation of Colourpop lipsticks. Cheap, cheerful but works. So this shade is basically it's a bright blue tone red lipstick. I'll just go on ahead and apply it so you guys can see what it looks like. So here's what Colourpop Creeper looks like on me. It's a beautiful, vibrant red shade. It has a bit of blue undertone, so like that super true red. And the formulation is great. Colourpop does really, really good liquid lipsticks. It's affordable. I mean, it's just great. If you want one red lipstick for your collection, Colourpop Creeper lipstick is a gorgeous red shade. You cannot do a video recommending red lipsticks without talking about the OG of red lipsticks, Max Ruby Woo. You know, this is the first red lipstick I and a lot of other people got in a true red shade that works with a variety of skin tones. I've seen Ruby Woo look beautiful on people with super dark skin. I've seen Ruby Woo look gorgeous on people with pale skin. This is just the winner. Like, MAC really got this color formulation spot on. So I'll just put it on now. So there's MAC Ruby Woo guys, I mean come what may, come which new brands bring out all the different shades of red lipsticks on the spectrum, Ruby Woo still has a place, you know, on that like five favorites for me and for a lot of people. It's just like that universal, like at a point in time people used to say that Ruby Woo in Nigeria was like Ashwebi, like you go to a wedding and like 30 different girls with like different skin tones are rocking it and they're looking bad as hell so ruby woo man it's an og and still a recommendation for me any day anytime next is this one from zaron it is their ultra matte lip stains and this shade is called O1 one fierce and i think that the zaron ultra matte lip stains are some really good dupes for a couple of mac lipsticks this one could be a dupe for Ruby Woo, although it's not really possible to dupe Ruby Woo. Like that color is just, at least to me, that color is just super unique. But this is also a red shade that I think comes really close to the color formulation of Ruby Woo. So let's let's try it on. It. Formulation is not as pigmented as Ruby One as the Colourpop one, but you if you go in with a few more swipes, you'll get really good color payoff. So I did about three swipes to get to this. And I'm actually really impressed with the formulation. I mean, it's a Nigerian brand, but it's actually very comparable. So this is really good quality. You know, I was applying it and I didn't have, there's nothing worse than, you know, applying lipstick and it starts to break and crumble off. This one just applied very, very smoothly. It's a matte finish, but it's very comfortable to apply. And it's, yeah, another nice red shade. Next one is Max Sin. 
it's a deep burgundy red shade i have reviewed this in a couple of videos in the past and i'll link it up here so you guys can watch a full review but for those who do not like like super bright reds and also for reds that are more daytime appropriate because you know sometimes people tend to shy away from wearing bright colors of lipstick during the day especially if you know you work a nine to five you know you're you you work in an office that kind of frowns on loud makeup you know you can still rock a red shade that is a bit more muted and sin is the perfect muted burgundy red that's what sin looks like you know perfect dark shade again i think will work with a variety of skin tones you know great for an everyday red lip that's not too over the top that's really muted definitely one of my favorites it's my perfect everyday red lipstick and last but by no means the least is this liquid lipstick from MAC. It's the shade Feel So Grand. I've reviewed it in this channel before when they had first launched. So I'll link it up, um, up here if you guys want to watch the full review. But this is another one. It's actually my absolute favorite out of all the five. So this is number one on my five recommendations. I like all the rest, but this is definitely one that packs a punch. It's a cranberry red shade. So let's go on and try it and you guys can see. So this feels so grand on. You can see that it's a slightly, it's slightly darker than the other red shades. And the application process is a little bit trickier because it's a liquid lipstick. And the formula is actually not as great as the ColourPop one. This one dries really quickly, so you need to work really fast as you're applying it to make sure that you've you know blended the lipstick well before it dries because once it dries it's kind of difficult to work with so i hope you guys enjoyed seeing my top five red lipstick recommendations um what are some of the red lipsticks that you guys like you know these are the ones that i typically go for please leave comments in the comment section and let me know i hope you found this really useful thank you so much for watching my videos guys Please subscribe if you are not so you can stay up to date with my content and I will see you in my next video. Ciao, ciao!